Hello and welcome to Immaculate Conception Cathedral Parish and Children's Liturgy for the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time. If you were with us last week, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome to you. We're going to begin as we so often do by singing together. Join me, won't you? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the trees, he made the seas, he made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. For you! you for singing with me. Let's pray together now the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of love, all that is good and right pleases you. Show us how to be happy whenever people do what is right and show they care for each other. We ask you this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke with Moses. Then he took some of the Spirit's power that he had given to Moses and he gave it to the 70 leaders. The men prophesied, but they did it only this one time. Two of the leaders had stayed in camp and had not gone out to the sacred tent. They were Eldad and Medad. But the spirit also took control of them and they prophesied. A young man went and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in camp. Joshua, son of Nun, was still a boy when he first started helping Moses. Joshua was there at the time and said to him, Master, make those men stop. Moses replied, Are you saying this for my good? I wish the Lord would give his spirit to all his peoples and let them become his prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for the responsorial psalm. We will sing together. I'll sing first so you know the, the tune and the words and then we'll sing together. The words of the responsorial psalm are, The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. Before we sing that, do you know what a precept is? So not really. Okay. A precept is a rule of action, a way of being. So when we talk about the precepts of the Lord, 
we're talking about the things that Jesus wants us to do, the way we should act if we are followers of Jesus, being kind and sharing, talking about him, being like Jesus for others. So when we talk about the precepts of the Lord, that's what we're talking about. So I'll sing first, and then you can sing with me afterward. Are you ready? Good. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. Let's try that. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. Well done. Let's do that one more time. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. Well done. And now for the gospel acclamation, when we sing Alleluia. Alleluia. Together. Alleluia. Your word, O oh Lord, is truth. Make us holy in the truth. Alleluia. Now, before we hear the gospel today, let's take a moment to get ready so that we can be really good listeners. So, I want you to imagine something. Your little brother or sister or a little cousin maybe, somebody younger than you, has decided that they are going to do one of the chores that's normally yours at home. And they're not doing as good a job of it as you do yourself. Maybe they're making a bit of a mess or getting things all mixed up. What do you do? Do you help them and show them the right way to do the task? Or do you sort of push them out of the way and say, that's not right, and you just do it yourself? Oh, some of us would do one, some of us would do the other. Why do you think, why, why would you help them? So they can learn it too, that's right. So that they can feel good afterward. And you'd feel good too, teaching them. Oh, that's very nice. Now why would you just push them aside and say, no, I'm gonna do it myself. Maybe you're afraid you'll have to clean up their mess. Maybe doing that job makes you feel special or important. And if they do it, you may not feel that way anymore. Mm. Which do you think would make you feel better though? Helping the person learn or doing it yourself? Mm. When somebody is trying to do a good deed and they help another person do it, then that's a good thing. That's a precept, like we talked about in the gospel, uh, the responsorial psalm. It's, it's a good thing to, to do. In our lives, as Christians, as Catholics, we are called to be helpful and kind and to lift one another up, not only with the things we do, but on our faith journey. That's what we're going to learn about in the gospel today. Jesus's disciples have seen someone who's healing other people in Jesus's name. He's, they're using Jesus's name to heal. The disciples will try and stop this man because he's not a follower of Jesus. He's not one of the apostles, not one of the people who comes to hear Jesus speak. They thought he was doing something wrong and that only they, the disciples, should be able to heal in Jesus' name. 
Remember last week? They were arguing about who was the greatest among them. This seems to be a continuation from there. Only we should be able to heal in Jesus' name. But let's listen to the gospel so we can hear what Jesus said to the disciples. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciple John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw a man using your name to force demons out of people, but he was not one of us and we told him to stop. Jesus said to the disciples, Don't stop him. No one who works miracles in my name will soon turn and say something bad about me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. And anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name just because you belong to me will surely be rewarded. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Were you a good listener? I knew you would be. So what did Jesus say to the disciples who tried to stop the man from healing people using Jesus' name? That's right. He told them not to stop the man. Jesus saw that the man was doing good deeds and beginning to show faith in him, beginning to show faith in Jesus. He didn't want the disciples to stop that man at all. Jesus teaches us that every good deed we do pleases God. Imagine that every good thing we do makes God happy. He also wants us to appreciate other people's good deeds. So when we see other people doing good things, Jesus wants us to know that that's good. And we should be happy that other people are doing good things also. Maybe we feel jealous sometimes. When we see other people doing good things, Maybe we feel a little bit jealous that, well, why aren't we doing that thing? What makes that person so special that they can do that? I could do that. Jesus doesn't want us to feel like that. He wants us to cheer on everybody who's doing good work. Our job is to love and care for one another and to help one another be faithful disciples of Jesus. How do we do that? We pray that we will be good people who do good deeds and help one another to grow in faith. So when you say your prayers, you say to Jesus, help me do good things. Help me be happy when I see other people doing good things also. And help me to help other people do good as well. Let's pray together now. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. With hope in our hearts, let us ask God for our needs. For the church, our guide and our strength, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our communities will learn to welcome those who feel they don't belong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will treat others with generosity and tolerance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel unloved and excluded, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, if there's something or someone you wish to pray for, do so in the quiet of your heart. And for these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, you care for your people. Hear the prayers that we, your children, make to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And for the year of St. Joseph, let us pray a child's prayer to St. Joseph. Blessed St. Joseph, watch over me and care for me, just as you cared for the child Jesus. And by your help, May I come to know your Son, and so grow in strength and wisdom and the favor of God. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy from Immaculate Conception Cathedral Parish again this week. When you pray this week, pray that you will do good deeds and that you can help other people do their good deeds, and that you can rejoice in the good that you are doing, both of you, separately. And we'll finish by praying together the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's finish as we began by singing together. Have a wonderful week and be kind to one another. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the trees, He made the seas, He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do. Oh.
for you.